Hi guys, I decided to flip the camera on partway through painting this leaf. I am doing a little fall <clears throat> leaf practice, a little study, using my core watercolors and colored pencils. I dropped in watercolor kind of all over the leaf, wet on wet, and now I'm going in with a selection of watercolor, or sorry, colored pencils to just brighten and add more texture and detail uh, that the, the watercolor wasn't giving me. I'm really loving working with my colored pencils and uh, decided to do a little impromptu um, watercolor colored pencil mixed media piece just to see how it would turn out. And I kind of liked it, so I thought I'd share. I, I really dig the colored pencils over the top of watercolor washes. It's such a nice effect and I mean, if you take your time you can get in some really really nice details and I'm, I'm very happy with how this little piece turned out for just a quick little 20 minute study while watching TV just to occupy my my mind um, I have my Holbein it's like a mint green color colored pencil that is, was really nice and the rest of my colored pencils that I used are my Prismacolor stash that I keep out in the living room so that when I want to um, draw or paint, they're, they're at that hand. But the Holbein one is lettuce green. It's a, the Holbein colored pencils are really nice. I wish I could afford a whole set. That would be awesome. <clears throat> Not that I don't love my Prismacolors. They're very nice as well. Um, fairly opaque. They go over watercolor really nice and they they're adding that little bit of depth and dimension to this leaf that I, I was trying for. I'm using oranges and orange and a, a golden yellow and red. I get in there with a fairly bright red. This is the crimson red that I used. I really like that one. And then the golden yellow that I used was the, um, what one was that? Goldenrod. Very nice color. <coughs> and that bright orange one, I believe, is it this one? Yeah, I sharpened it. <laughs> it is the poppy red. It looks orange, but it, the poppy red's really nice. And then this softer orange that I have. Uh, it might be this one. Yeah, it might just be the regular orange that I used, not the poppy red one. But just going back and forth and back and forth and spinning the piece and dropping color over color and trying to get that variegated fall leaf texture. I went back in the art room and grabbed a white Prismacolor pencil to do the veins on the top um, just to add that little bit of... Uh, de definition and mention. I really care for that. I should have used a darker color, but uh, overall it's not terrible. And going in with a darker shade here, it might be a purple or is it a green? Nope, it's a green. It's one of my metallic um, castle art pencils. Those I have out in the other room as well. I grab the box from back here and bring it out there pretty regularly. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing this little piece. I hope you guys like the video and that you'll give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.